More than 1,500 physicians from right across Canada have signed a letter of support for a doctor blamed for an outbreak of COVID-19 in New Brunswick. We've shared his story before, Dr. Jean-Robert Nagola. He was accused this summer of triggering a whole spate of new cases in the Campbellton region. When you are facing a huge problem in all of your life and you have the support of your colleague, I'm so emotional. 40 people in the community were infected, two died. The premier singled out Dr. Nagola as the source of the outbreak, and he then faced weeks of threats and racist abuse. He left his practice in Campbellton. A CBC News investigation later cast doubt on whether he was, in fact, patient zero. That prompted calls for public inquiry and, as I just referenced, this show of support from his colleagues right across the country. It is Judy Trin who's been doing the reporting on all of this, taking the lead on the Dr. Nagola story. She's back again from Ottawa. Let's uh, pick up where you left off, the response to the story and what your investigation led to, the question about whether he is patient zero the support that he has received. Good morning, Heather. Yes, uh, Dr. Nagola, as you heard, is emotionally uh, overwhelmed and very, very uh, thankful and grateful that, uh, that he received this letter. That's because for weeks he has been enduring uh, racist attacks. However, this letter was prompted by an investigation by CBC's Fifth Estate when we cast doubt on the contact tracing. We followed uh, Dr. Nagola and we wanted to know exactly if he truly was patient zero. We spoke to epidemiologists and what we found was that the case for that is not very strong. Uh, we found that he only had contact with five individuals, including his daughter. Uh, his brother, who his daughter was staying with, uh, tested uh, negative for COVID-19. The doctors he came in contact with were all wearing masks. They were wearing gloves and sitting two meters apart when they had a conversation. And we also found that at, in Campbellton itself, uh, there were 90 hospital workers who lived lived in Quebec and crossed regularly every day to the hospital to work. Along with that, a child at the same daycare as uh, Dr. Nagola was the actual patient zero. That case, that child, that little boy uh, had a parent who worked in the hospital and another parent who lived in Quebec. So the fact that he was singled out um, is, is questionable. And after hearing about our investigation and reading about it, Dr. Danusha Foster felt compelled uh, to rally her fellow doctors and write this letter. Take a lesson. I was not going to weigh in whether he was patient zero or he wasn't patient zero. What I simply wanted to do is just to say this backlash against your character is unacceptable. It's unkind. It's unjust. It's not human and and or it's dehumanizing. And I I just had to speak up about that matter. So, 1,500 doctors joining Dr. Foster in doing so. You've also heard, I know, Judy, from officials in Campbellton. What are they saying? Mm -hmm. Well, looking back, there is a, a lot of regret. You have to understand that the average age in Camelton is 53. And in, to put it in context, that community relies on immigrant doctors. More than half the hospital's doctors are immigrants. Now, this case, uh, since Dr. Nagola left, three other doctors have left. Dr. Nagola himself uh, cared for 2,000 patients. So right now, the hospital is dealing with a doctor shortage on top of a pandemic. Uh, take a listen to the mayor of Campbellton. A lot of times, fear speaks evil. And um, just knowing that COVID was in Camelton brought out naturally the worst in people. Um, the patients of Dr. Angola are very, very sad to lose them because he was a very good doctor. All I knew is that my people were scared. They were looking at an avenue to blame. 
40 cases of uh, COVID hit Campbellton uh, at the end of May, along with two deaths in a long-term care home. Um, Dr. Nagola did receive direction from the hospital to self-isolate upon his return uh, from uh, uh, on, uh, outside the province. That was one of the directives at the hospital. However, he also called the COVID hotline in New Brunswick and was given conflicting information. He was told that it was okay to go, and that's why he left. So now, now that the story is taking on quite a different turn and doctors, for example, coming forward to support, how is you reacting to all of this? In the initial stages, Dr. Nagola's name was leaked on the internet one hour after he received his test results. Uh, Premier Blaine Higgs uh, singled him out as an irresponsible medical professional three hours after. And by 5 p.m. on May 27th, he had lost his job or was suspended from his job. So you can feel that he was very alone. So this letter signed by 1,500 doctors calling for a public inquiry into how he was treated means the world. I thank you very much. I thank you. I thank you a lot for the support that showed that I'm not alone. We are working like a body, like a family, as you told in your letter. Really, I thank you, not only me, but all my family. Thank you very much for your letter and your support. Dr. Nagola is now practicing medicine in Louisville, Quebec, uh, but he is still dealing with issues in Campbellton. He has to return to potentially face a provincial fine. Uh, there were no criminal charges against him after an RCMP investigation, but he still faces a potential fine of $10,000 for not isolating upon his return. Heather. Judy, thank you very much for that update. Judy okay. Trin is in Ottawa 